The uh, FASTFIN system was designed to help improve the amount of available anti-torque. Uh, most helicopters, well, all helicopters will have a design limitation. It'll be structural, it'll be power, it will be potentially left pedal. When you hit these limitations, ultimately what that results in is the limit of how much work you can do. So, if your aircraft's useful load is limited by the amount of tail rotor authority that the aircraft has, the FASTFIN system, once installed on the aircraft, will provide an additional increment. Well, on some aircraft, maybe 10%. 10% of additional pedal authority can be used to lift uh, an additional weight of useful load. Over the past four or five years, Bell Helicopter took a very serious look at the FASTFIN system, uh, participated in a cooperative effort with BLR. This system can have a payback period in as short as two or three months. Um, in rough numbers, it's a $90,000 modification. Uh, some of the aircraft they go on are valued at $2 million. Some of them are valued at $12 million. So the cost of the kit is, as a percentage of the whole value is actually quite modest. The payback comes in a number of different ways. For example, if you're operating a Bell 412 or a Bell 212 and you'd like to do some very high density altitude contract work, well, maybe you don't have quite enough uh, useful load at that altitude to qualify for the contract. Again, it's a competitive market. The FASTFIN system may allow you to take that same aircraft you've invested in and now win a contract. Why? The FASTFIN will allow you to lift the same useful load 2,500 feet, in some cases 3,000 feet higher than you could do with the baseline aircraft. So if you think of that 2,500 feet or 3,000 feet of additional airspace where you can operate successfully from, you could see how that increases your chance to earn a return on a very valuable asset you've invested in.